Well, what? Here comes trouble. What oh, is Trevor. This? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes. Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Is he interested right, with anyone with a pulse, Trevor? <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Say. Martin. He's a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. But some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. My cousin, uh, you met in Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. Shoot a plane down with a gun. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything, get me on the headset. Mm, he's got a nice cock and Nick. Might have something else back here as well. Shame we can't get in horses. Bit Dead Redemption style. Factory farm animals, pack the cooler, cremate some dead flesh, and invite your friends over to get into drunken fist fights. And smoked dreams, we have Whoa, a bit to tell our piece, Carlos. Yeah, okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? <laughs> that he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? What the fuck he's talking about? We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. Vinewood Hills. Bastard.
All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. What sort of gun is this? Oh, fucking hell, it's a massive gun. He's been sitting there a while, then. T! If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet! Come on! I got her. Southwest of the city. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Where are they? See a toe. Oh, there. What? There it is. Out past downtown. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. One hell of a shot. Oh, fucking hell, he's going to One tough engine, that is. <laughs> Follow the plane, get the package. We're plugged into the air traffic control channel. Keep me updated. Yo, Gink Donkey! Gotta take this off road if I'm staying with the plane! There's a small jump coming up! Whoa. Woo! This is flight November 9 or Charlie Echo. Our engine number two is blown. Roger, November 9 or Charlie Echo. Fly heading 240. Stay yourselves on board. Fucking okay, hell. The pilot's fighting it, but he's going down. Good. Stay on him. We need the files. Flight November 9 or Charlie Echo. Stay yourselves on board. On board. Engine two totally lost. All hydraulics lost. All hydraulic systems are gone. Roger, Reverend Nine Charlie Echo. Where are you putting it down? We're not gonna make the runway. We're gonna have to ditch the son of a bitch and hope for the best. I oh, gotta land the right. You're kidding me. How you doing out there? We still got him? I'm on him. He's past the airfield. Landing ain't gonna be pretty. Where are you putting it down? Can you make the Alamo Sea airfield? Can't pull it round. We're gonna have to put it down in a field somewhere. Get out. Doing well to kill the fucker off in the air. Can't go round the train. Gotta go over, over it. it. Can almost got decapitated by that wire. Charlie Echo, if you lost your manual flight control system, pull your flaps. How's business, 
Toronto! <laughs> okay, this guy is going down any minute. Good. Let's hope he'll take out some poor farmer while he's at it. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, Trevor Phillips country. God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid hey, down the road. You, you gotta help us. Call the cops. I'm working with the government. Hey, we crashed. Who said? I still left him in a whole piece. This <coughs> tractor's driving got... pie. <coughs> fine, just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Well, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Get the rifle, keep the damn rifle. Great enough cops chase me now a bit. Dump the vehicle. Oh, I can lay this trail. That's enough. Quicker just sticking a sticky bomb in the back of it and blowing it up. <laughs> I was gonna say, was it gonna blow up then? Wasn't sure it was. Yeah, I get my stamina up.
Seriously, there's no vehicles coming down here. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works. A little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. What the fuck was that? Where is he? Where is he indeed? Where do you have from? There's no one in the back, so he hasn't uh, got her. The fuck has happened? Why do you have his car? Man, a piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. Answer a fucking question. <laughs> I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a... Uh, a very relaxing little spot, a little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know that was complete psycho.